Welcome to C programming tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, actually, we are learning about how to open a file and close a file. Um, this is uh, being continued from the previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please do watch it uh, before you continue on with this one. So we were actually talking about the different modes that you can actually open a file. If you don't specify B, you can open it. All these modes are for text file and if you specify B then you are opening the file in the binary file. Text file, the difference between text file and the binary file is the text file is the file that you can print the contents of uh, on the screen or, or on the file or on the printer or whatever uh, and uh, not on the file but you know uh, on the on the printer or whatever and you can read that file that's called a text file if you have a file that has all the garbage characters when you print it that's a binary file so for now we will be basically dealing with only the text files okay the files which will have characters that we can read and understand right so let's let's see let's try let's see if we open so if you want to open a file in the in the right mode for example a brand new file remember this w would actually result in let me see if i let's put it in in comments you we have so far we have been i probably to, told you about the comments um single line comments okay now probably i haven't even talked to talk to you about comments at all so let's see the comments are actually the lines that compiler ignores so you can write whatever you want in there okay so these lines i wrote it for myself if i leave it in the program it's going to be a problem the compiler excuse me won't be able to compile the program so i have to tell the compiler to ignore these lines and the way to ignore these tell it to ignore these lines is is you know use these two characters slash and star and these two characters to end it so this becomes a block of lines that the compiler totally ignores the other thing other way to call it make it ignore something is is by using two slashes and then you can write whatever you want and the compiler will totally ignore it the difference between these two is that this has a start and an end and it can be on multiple lines this has o has to be only in, on one line okay we can use these these things to actually document your pr our program for example you can say open the file so that whoever is reading your program can understand what you are trying to do here okay so okay so let's see so once you will open a file in w mode which means this mode which means that you open a file if the f uh, for only write no read and if the file does not ex if the file does not exist it will create new one and if the file exists it will delete it and create a new one so you will lose all the data that already exists in this one so and then at this point at this point after a successful uh, execution of this uh, statement the p file should have the the pointer to the file descriptor now if the there has been some error which means that suppose the file um, you know for whatever reason if the file does not exist this mode will actually create it okay but for whatever reason for example suppose if you specify the path here that does not exist okay in my computer there is no path called path okay so this path does not exist it will actually fail in opening the file and then it will return a null so it's a good idea to check to make sure that file is not null and this is how you do it okay so before you do anything after anything to process this um, statements to process the file okay before you do any of those statements you should check if the file is null or not and if it is null it's always a good idea to actually oops to actually I hate this editor um, to actually print a statement saying that could not open the file all right so see and here is where all the processing of this file is gonna happen 
all right and right now we don't know how to do further processing all we know is that how to open a file but if in as we will learn this is where we are going to write all the code where the where we will process that file because obviously this point we know that the file was actually successfully opened if the file is not successfully opened we should say could not open the file okay so okay once you are done opening the file you were supposed to do what is called closing the file okay you should always close your file when you are done with it and the way to close the file is use f close okay function and f close function actually takes one parameter can you guess what it is you have to close a file so it should take the file parameter something that specifies the file and if you are thinking that you should you you should put the name of the file here you are wrong because as i said before that f open actually returns a file pointer and f open is the only function that takes the file name once the file is successfully opened all the other functions actually refer to this pointer okay you have to use this pointer in all the other functions because this pointer is pointing to file descriptor which actually describes the entire file it has the file name it has all the other necessary things which we don't even know about and we don't even care this is what the file descriptor is file but we have no idea what it is and we don't care that's the beauty of the uh, of uh, of the structured programming so see this this file hides all this information for us okay information hiding in the real life and daily life may not be a very good thing and sometimes it is a good thing also in the real life as well but in programming it's it's a very good thing you don't want to expose the things that you don't have to okay that way it keeps things simpler imagine if you had to know about all the things that ha that go on into the in, the in 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 this in opening this file it's it's going to be very complicated because all the operating system stuff is in this file descriptor here but you don't even have to know about all these things because you sh you have to open a file you should say open a file that's it and it should do it right that's that's the that's the concept here all right so but the thing is that once you open the file when you are done processing it obviously right now we don't know how to do all this processing you have to close the file so you close the file like this and you pass the descriptor and this will close the file very simple now closing file is not too critical if you forget it when your program is going to exit the file will be closed by the operating system the operating system will close it but it's always a good idea to close it yourself when you are done May, now remember after you close this file you cannot use p file without reopening it without doing a uh, another call to f open you know unless you do a call to f open you cannot use p file here you cannot start processing the file at this point here okay remember that because now after you close the p file p file is not pointing to any valid uh valid location or any valid f file descriptor so so you you have to make sure that when you are done using the file for sure at that point you close the file all right so this is how you open the file this is how you make sure that the file was opened successfully and this is how you close the file so this concludes the opening and closing file tutorial i hope you learned from it enjoyed it and if you really liked it please uh, give a thumbs up uh, and if you do not like it you give a you can give a thumbs down also and give me some comments feedback i always appreciate them and if you have any questions feel free to ask thank you so much